Today, I'm gonna be building all of the mob vote losers out of LEGO. Let's begin. Every year, Minecraft does a mob vote between three mobs, and it always ends up being the worst one on the list. Except for this year, Armadillo won. <laughs> what the hell? But every other year before that, unfortunately, the best mobs get voted out. And that means that we cannot get them out of LEGO. But that's where I step in. I know, I know, I'm the best. You could thank me by subscribing, by the way. So let's start with the 2017 mob vote. So we had the option to vote between four mobs, which were the Barnacle, the Hovering Inferno, the Great Hunger, and the Phantom. And everyone voted the Phantom, even though it was like the most boring mob out of the four picks. <laughs> even the Great Hunger was cooler. So these were the 2017 rejects, starting with The Great Hunger. This is my version of it. I used the exclusive 1x1 plates from the pirate ship adventure for The Great Hunger's eyes, since they do look like eyes. And for his little paws, I use white studs at the bottom. Next, we have The Barnacle. So this build is similar to the squid, except for the small squid tentacles, I added some big teeth-like things. And in the middle, I added one of these blaster pieces for the tongue. And for the head, I used this really cool snot technique involving those eye-like pieces from earlier. Next, we have the one everyone should have voted for, which is the Hovering Inferno, or the Wildfire for short. For his really cool shields, I connected some 2x4 plates with tiles on top of them to these transparent shield holders and I tilted them a little bit just like in the game. And since LEGO never made a wildfire mob, I improvised and used a netherite helmet for the wildfire's crown. There's also a cool bonus where you could spin him like a Beyblade. Now let's move on to the 2020 mob vote, which was between the Moobloom, the Isolager, and the Glow Squid. And because of a certain someone who completely rigged the mob vote, we got the Glow Squid. Bruh. But LEGO did make a Moobloom design for some reason, so this is what I use for my Moobloom. But on the other hand, if you take a look at my Isolager, it looks like, um, I don't know. It looks like Lepin made that figure. Hey, blame it on that certain someone who has a magnet implanted on his forehead and his forearm. Anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. Now let's move on to the 2021 mob vote losers. Starting with the Copper Golem. I'm really happy with this Copper Golem design. He is really adorable. And I actually really wish he was in the game right now because I would have thousands. But anyways, for the nose, I did this cool technique with jumpers and tiles. And for his arms, I connected one by two plates to one by one snot bricks. And for the glare, I kind of did the same thing with the 2011 micro ghast figure. It's just upside down with cheese slopes at the bottom. And last and definitely least, we have this year's mob vote. And the losers were the crab and the penguin. For the crab, I made a really small design. You could probably tell what it is just by me zooming it in. So here it is. Big claw, small claw. And here we have the penguin. For his little yellow eyebrows, I used these bracket pieces, but unfortunately, I only have one, and I need two to make two eyebrows. And for the beak, I put a red 1x1 tile in a strange way, and behind the 1x1 tile, I put two black studs to hold it in place. And for his fins, I used 1x2 tiles. Now that we have every loser on the scene, you know, I'm feeling a little generous today, so let's build a mock for each one. So first, let's build the barnacle's habitat. So apparently, he was supposed to spawn in deep waters, so this is what I built. So far, this is looking like a desert, so I added some kelp. So you can see this diver skin trying to run away from him, but he's already dead meat. Next, I built a place for the wildfire to be in. It's quite similar to that one place where blazes spawn in the nether fortresses. I quickly built this mechanism for the wildfire to spin. Hmm. 
Here is the wildfire room. Now I'm gonna show you guys this mechanism in action. If you just spin this here, the wildfire will spin as well. I think that's a pretty cool addition to this little mock here and gives it more life. And here's a player trying to challenge the wildfire. Next we have this little thing here. There's just a guy walking and this axle, I don't know why it's here. It's just there on the side. But uh, I guess uh, we should see what it's about. Let's spin it. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Okay. There's a little... Hey, man. There's the little... Uh... Yeah, I, I built the whole thing. I, I why, why am I even acting surprised? So, yeah. The Great Hunger spawns from the dirt block. Just like that. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool play feature I added there. Now let's move on to the next mock. For the next mock, I'm gonna build a special birch forest for the Moo Bloom. can tell this mock matches perfectly with the Mooblum as it is very colorful and it's full of flowers just like that. Next I'm gonna build a small snowy peaks biome for the Isolager. So here we have the little peaks biome. Nothing too special but I did manage to sneak a play feature in there. So if I stack blocks of ice on this little thing here then you take a player and you put him here and after all that you pull a little pin at the back of the mountain and the ice blocks fall making it look like the ice allergy made those. For the glare, I'm just gonna put him in my upcoming chunk mock, so stay tuned for that. This thing is so tall that you might see my face in the next video. Next, I built some kind of platform with a bunch of buttons for the copper golem. And now let's put him in, and look, he has all these little buttons to play with. Isn't that adorable? Wait, no, 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 don't, don't, don't press it, don't press it! The next mob we have is a crab. This guy does not deserve a build because he's a loser. All he deserves is... Lastly, for the penguin, I built this cool contraption. So if you put this penguin on this Technic axle, and you put a boat in front of him, and flick the back of this thing, it actually boosts the boat. So that's a pretty cool play feature I added here. It's pretty nice, I like it, and it's pretty effective. And you know, since I'm a nice person and all, I'm just gonna put the crab on there. Alright, I'm gonna give him a little spot. Which one of these custom mobs were your favorite? Make sure to comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when I build Big Chungus out of Lego.